What is up, folks? It is time for the tr Tuesday Truth Bomb. This is like my fifth take, because I keep getting interrupted by phone calls and text messages trying to keep my business going. But this is important to me. I made a commitment. I'm going to get this done today. And this is a good one, okay? Tuesday Truth Bomb for today is that there's no such thing as talent. What do I mean by that? Of course there are talented human beings, but the way we think of talent is that we have these people put up on pedestals that we think we're just born with the talent that they have, right? We think that they were just naturally gifted at the things that they're gifted at, right? We look at guys like Michael Jordan and Kobe and Shaq and Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and Walter Payton to go back a little bit, right? Guys like Mike Trout, okay? Guys like Herman Marquez to name a Rocky or Nolan Arenado, right? To keep it local. You switch out of sports if you want to. Let's talk about some of the great artists, the great musical artists to ever walk the earth, right? You got Lady Gaga, world-class performer. Michael Jackson changed the face of pop music and pop performance, right? He changed what it meant to be to be a top tier performer. You look at guys like Justin Timberlake or even going to the rock world, right? Groups like Metallica, groups like The Beatles, groups like ACDC, they're talented musicians. They're all talented. Everybody I just listed, they're all talented. But let me tell you something of what they're not. They're not naturally gifted. That's a myth. Okay, get that out of your head. What they are is obsessed. They are obsessed with being the best at whatever it is that they wanted to be the best at. They decided that they were going to be the best at basketball. They were going to be the best at football. They were going to be the best at rock music. They were going to be the biggest, the baddest, the best thing that ever happened to that thing. And then what happened? They got obsessed. They got obsessed. That's, th that's the problem, folks. We don't want to be that. We don't want to be obsessed because we see it as a bad thing. We're all searching for this work-life balance, whatever that is. There's no such thing. There's maybe a work-life battle, right? You're going back and forth between wanting to be really, really good at it, what it is you do, but then also spend time with your family or invest in the relationships that are important to you. And those are important things. But the problem I have with this talent argument, they're just talented, they're just naturally talented. They just make it look so easy. Is that you use that as an excuse to, to not pursue what you want to pursue. What is it in life? What in your life do you want to change? What in your life do you want to be better at? What in your life do you want to alter? And are you leaning on the excuse of, well, everybody else is just better at it because they're talented. They make it look so easy because they're just talented. Let me tell you something. It's a myth. Talent is a myth, at least in the way we think about it. See, talent as we know it, is purely obsession and dedication to the craft until they reach the level where they make it look effortless, where it make it look like they're just acting on instinct. But really what it took to get there was rep after rep after rep, right? Hour after hour after hour of focused, dedicated, meticulous practice until they got to the level where they didn't have to think about it. So what is it for you? What is it in your life that needs to change, that you want to change, but you're like, yeah, but I can't do that. I'm not good at that. I'm not talented enough. I could never do that. How about this? How about you start where they all started? Start at the beginning. Start by learning the basics and putting in rep after rep, hour after hour of meticulous focus practice, okay? There's a, there's a book called Outliers, and it outlines this theory, the 10,000 hour theory. It says to become an expert at anything, you have to put in 10,000 hours. That's why often when you start a business, it takes 10 years before you see any real success. Because on average, 
you're going to put in about a thousand hours a year. Well, if you're putting in a thousand hours a year, it's going to take you 10 years to get there. Okay. If you're putting in a thousand hours a year, that's eight hours a day. So what are, what are you wanting to be that good at that you're willing to dedicate that level of commitment to? I'm not saying it's going to take you 10 years. It might take you 20. It might take you three. I don't know. Because there are some people who have an inherent gravitation towards certain things. Absolutely. Our brains are all wired differently. Our bodies are all wired a little bit differently. That's what makes us unique. But, but, just because you're not good when you start, it's not an excuse to quit. It's not an excuse to stop. Talent, as we use it, doesn't actually exist. Talent is obsession over the long haul. Talent is obsession plus grit. What's grit? Grit is um, uh, persistence. Grit is passion and perseverance over long stretches of time. Understanding that for a very long time, you're gonna suck at it until you get the practice in, until you master the basics and make them look effortless, and then you add something to it, and you practice it until it's effortless, and then you add something to it until you practice it and make it look effortless. That's how talent goes. You develop talent, you practice, and you get better and better and better. I promise you, I promise you, if you want to be good at something, you've got to be willing to put in the hours. And if you're not willing to put in the hours, stop using the excuse of, well, I'm not good at it because I'm not talented. You're not talented because you haven't put in the hours. Flip that over. The truth bomb, folks, is that talent doesn't exist. The truth bomb is if you want to be talented, you've got to be willing to put in the obsessed, focused hours to get there. That's how you become talented. That's the truth bomb, folks. Go blow up life. Boom.